decisions, decisions. That's what Bubba Starling has on his plate. The dual sport phenom can play quarterback at Nebraska, but with a fastball in the mid to high 90s, he's also waiting to see what happens with the Major League Baseball draft, leaving people to wonder, what will Bubba do? This is a football town now. It is a, an event that the entire town looks forward to now every Friday night. It gets electrifying all week from probably Tuesday on. Everybody gets excited, looking forward for Friday night games, and it's exciting. A lot of people come see, see Bubba along with the rest of the team, but he has a lot of people from the surrounding area that come. It's probably tough to describe Bubba in one word, but he is dynamic. Ever since he was little enough, they're just old enough and small enough to pick up a ball, he'd pick up anything he could get a hold of, and he'd, he'd want to play catch, throw it, hit it, you know, just go outside and hit the ball. When he was nine, I took him to a baseball camp, and at that time, uh, former Major League catcher Mike McFarland told me that he was the best nine-year-old he's ever seen. His frame is a frame of 6'5", you know, 200 pounds, but out of that is just, first of all, raw speed, but explosive. Athletically and ability-wise, he just exceeds anything that I've ever coached. I've never had a kid come in as a freshman in high school, you know, below and over 90. One of the areas that he's most dynamic is on the basketball floor. I love dunking. You know, the crowd likes it whenever I get a breakaway or something, or I drive to the lane and throw one down pretty good. The things that he was able to do on the football field uh, absolutely uh, not only brought this area, but also brought the metro to our school. Whatever sport it's, it is, you know, I'm competitive and, you know, I work with all my guys around me, you know, you know, to win as much as we can. He's got a lot of, a lot of people that, that follow him and to us, he's just our Bubba. We're real proud of him. As far as me, I got to be a role model just because this is a small community and uh, a lot of little kids, you know, a lot of people look up to me. He's just been a great ambassador, not only for our town, but for our school and our program. There's a lot of people that said, you know, you should just save your body and work on, you know, just this sport or that sport. Then there was some that said, you know, just play all three, you know, have as much fun as you want. And, uh, which I'm glad I did play all three. Because, uh, you know, I've enjoyed hanging out with my friends and playing with them, you know, these past four years. His mom and I just tell him that you're growing up fast and everybody wants you to grow up fast. So while you got a chance, still be a kid and enjoy it. He really is under a microscope in this community, as well as in the metro and things like that. With you know signing with Nebraska and possible MLB draft and all that kind of stuff. He's, he's got two great choices. Uh, it's a difficult choice, but there really isn't a wrong answer here. We're just gonna be there for him and, and we're, we're gonna support him whatever he decides and just go from there. He needs to make the choice that's going to be the best choice for him, most enjoyable choice for him. That number 16 will be a coveted jersey for a long time here.